Welcome back to AgriTalk, opening day of the Farm Progress Show in Boone, Iowa, as we broadcast from the Case IH exhibit. Joining us now, National Events Manager for Farm Progress, Matt Youngman, and big crowd. So you got tested right out of the gate, and so far, so good? So far, so good. Everything seems to be going really well. We had, uh, uh, typically, Tuesday morning, there's a little bit of of getting things shined up and ready to go and, and get all the intersections working correctly, so on and so forth. But for the most part, everything has worked really well. All I think all of, all 2,400 exhibitor vehicles tried to show up right at 730, and that caused a little bit of a backup. But once we got that cleared, um, traffic is flowing smoothly. Uh, obviously, beautiful weather. The demos are going to start here in 45 minutes, and, and I think everything should work well. Yeah, those field demonstrations are such a big part of the show, and actually you had to do a little rehearsal, a little tune-up yesterday to get ready. Well, yeah, and, and we use the areas that we go out and tune the combines. We then use that for other you know other activities. We do our some of our static ride-and-drive things and, and sprayer ride-and-drive, so we can we can use some of these acres for other purposes. And, you know, when you when you have a brand-new combine coming out of the factory, you want to get a few a few acres through it just to make sure that everything's shined and working right when there's a when and there's a, a crowd of five or six thousand people staring at it. It's always quite a sight to see all the combines side by side going through a field and the people walking behind them. And I always say that that is really the critical moment for those uh, companies. I mean, they're laying it on the line. They don't want to have a problem out there because uh, there are some critical eyes on them. That is exactly right. You know, everybody, everybody's, most people prefer some color and, and, you know, they're rooting for theirs and they're rooting against somebody else's. And so it's, uh, it, it, it is a competition out there. Years ago, Matt, uh, a lot of farmers would fly in to uh, the Farm Progress Show, and there's still some doing that, aren't there? There are some. I, I just spoke to a couple plane loads that flew down from South Dakota this morning. I just caught them at the at the shuttle drop off just to ask how their experience was getting here, and and there still are, still are a lot. Now, I'll say that the airport is probably more busy with with executive jets now than than they are with flying farmers, which is just kind of the way the show has evolved over the years. Now. What about international visitors? We have many of them. We we do. You know, you can you can walk the streets and and there will be groups coming at you dressed like soccer teams that are all dressed alike so they can stay together and and it's uh, it's a little bit like the UN when you get to some corners of the exhibit field. Campers are in and, and they uh, made their way in and set up. We started uh, parking campers at about noon yesterday and we were up to 350 campers by the time everybody um, called it a night last night and uh, they'll, they will they will continue coming we'll fill that up it'll get to six or seven hundred campers uh, by the time by the time Wednesday evening rolls around and you get a lot of people come in by bus too don't you we do you know they, they come a lot of different ways a lot of those tour groups a lot of those international groups end up end up coming in a tour tour bus and and um, you know we have about 30 acres set aside just to park those buses it's our highest highest ground in case it would rain those buses they do not get along very well in any mud at all so we got to pick good ground for for them. Something we had talked about during the summer, especially as we saw the effects of the drought, I know that there were some concerns about would that impact your attendance and we know some farmers are busy now harvesting in their own fields although not so much in this area which has proven to be a break for you it it certainly has you know you you, you throw a party and you hope somebody shows up and and so it's you know by 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 10 o'clock here as we're sitting there's a very nice crowd in in here and and it uh it's certain you know it's a little bit a little bit of a, an exhale you can give that okay we're you know we've got a good crowd in here and, and we're well on our way to a good show um, but but you're right. The uncertainty with the drought and the troubles that we've had, uh, th kind of throughout the Midwest, it was it was uncertain coming into it. Tractor pull tonight. Tractor pull tonight kicks off at six o'clock at the Boone County Fairgrounds. Uh, they've got a, a a bunch of good tractors in there, and uh, all the ticket sales are going great. So it looks like we're gonna have a nice a nice show tonight. All right. So and again, uh, you open again at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Eight o'clock tomorrow morning, same schedule. We'll run uh, we'll run combines at eleven, tillage at one. Uh, uh, ride and drive, strip till, and precision demonstrations from 10 to 4, uh, self-propelled sprayer demos, all those things go on the same every day. Hey, what have you got this year for livestock producers? Livestock, uh, we, we do livestock demonstrations in the in the cattle handling tent. We'll, we're, we have six shoots, six head shoots in there. We'll run live cattle through there. There's a horse gentling training at the Morton buildings. Uh, a lot of the southeast quadrant of the grounds is has a livestock focus right there. And one other thing I wanted to ask you about, how the food tents are, are being handled this year? 
uh, the, all the food, all the food sales are done by local nonprofit groups. So all the profits from that go to local Kiwanis clubs, church clubs, um, the organizations such as that. So that's a place that we're able to give back to the community, uh, as well as what we're, the donations we make to the folks that are right now parking cars and and doing the admissions work. That kind that kind of work. That's really a big part of the history and tradition of Farm Progress Show. That, that's exactly right, and, and it's it's a tradition within the company because we, you know, same thing at Husker Harvest Day, same thing at Hay Expo. It's just something that it's it's an area that we're able to give back to the area. All right, off to a good start. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks a lot, Mike.